I love when people on the right tell me to get educated. You're going to want to stick with me for this one. I came across this video today. Some douchey looking guy dressed in early 1920s attire, unironically dancing to Sugar Sugar by the Archies, which is the wrong era because that song was released in 1969. And in the caption, he wrote, where my hashtag conservative hashtag women at? And I just had to comment, right? So I said, yes, take me back to a time where I couldn't vote. And all the hashtag conservative simps jumped in and wrote, um, the Republicans are the ones that fixed that. You all got to get educated at some point. Or you do know Republicans ratified the 19th Amendment, the right for women to vote. Stupid Stella. Now, I know reading comprehension is hard for some, but I believe that caption mentioned conservative women. Conservative is an ideal, not a political party. Parties change and what they stand for changes over time, but the meaning of conservative does not. Let's look at the definition together, huh? Conservative, averse to change or innovation and holding traditional values. In a political context, favoring free enterprise, private ownership, and socially traditional ideas. Now remember that definition, okay? Anti-suffragists argue that most women did not want the vote because they took care of the home and children. They said women did not have time to vote or stay updated on politics. Not having the time to vote because you're taking care of the house and kids sounds like traditional ideas, doesn't it? Was it conservative Republicans who pushed for it? Uh, no, it says here the progressive wing of the GOP increasingly became pro-suffrage. You see, when ex-president Theodore Roosevelt broke off from the GOP and created the Progressive Party, the party platform fully endorsed the idea. The Progressive Party, believing that no people can justly claim to be a true democracy, which denies political rights on account of sex, pledges itself to the task of securing equal suffrage to men and women alike. That doesn't sound very conservative to me. And like I said, parties change and what they stand for changes. Did you educate yourself in the fact that the Democrats at that time were the party of pro-state rights? They were the ones that believed women having the right to vote is a state issue. What party does that sound like today? I don't know. I'm stupid, Stella. I can't think right now. You still think the Republican Party of today is the same party that gave women the right to vote? You still think that the Republican Party of today is the same party that freed the slaves, the party of Lincoln? If that's true, then why are Republicans today associated with the Confederate flag? You know, those conservatives. After all, Lincoln fought against the Confederacy. It's almost as if a great switch happened. You might want to educate yourself on that too. That is, if you haven't banned those books yet. And much like my shirt says, women don't owe you shit. I didn't even owe you this explanation. But given the fact the makers of this shirt are a very charitable organization, I felt compelled to give you this lesson for free. You're welcome. Anyways, bye!